All right, the next part of the assignment is part two, controlling one motor. So once again, you're going to do an open uh, of our PLTW template. And the way you do that is you simply go file, open, and compile. Go out to that programs folder on your desktop, and you should have PLTW template there. Okay. Once you've got that open just like this, hopefully there's no code in between these two curly braces. If there is, please delete it. Okay. And what we want to do is get started right away. So it says you want to save it as controlling one motor to start out with. So once again, we're going to edit this up at the top, project title to say controlling one motor. And we're also going to do a file save as controlling one motor. Now, today, what do we got to do? It says write a program that performs the following simple behaviors. Use the natural language functions as seen below to do so. That part can be confusing to people. All it means is look at these pictures. This is where those pieces of code are going to be hiding. In movement and in weight. Okay, so those are the groups that the codes we need are in. All right, what we need is to turn on the right motor on full forward at half speed for five seconds and then stop the motor. Okay, so uh, we need to turn on that motor half speed for five seconds, turn off the motor. Well, we need to think about what simple commands uh, do we need to actually put in to make this happen. So the first thing that we're asked to do is turn on a motor. Well, if you think about it, we know how to do that. If we look at these little pictures down here, let's make them a little bit bigger and see those categories. The movement was the first in our actual program. Of these three that we see here, what would turn on a motor? Hey, start motor. So we're going to pull that in. Once again, we have to call out uh, what did uh, we name the motor and then what speed we want it at. Okay, so we have no idea what our motor is named. So we're going to once again go up to robot, uh, motors and sensors setup, go to motors. Hey, right motor is called R-I-G-H-T capital M-O-T-O-R with no space. All right, spelling and capitalization, once again, very important. So we have to type it in just like this. So what motor should we turn on? R-I-G-H, and there it is at the bottom. Double click it, and it should show up in red. Now, second thing. We don't want to turn it on at just any old speed. We want it on forward at half speed. Okay, So that's the next thing we're asked to do is turn it on at half speed. Well, if you recall way back when, we talked about motors reading anywhere from negative 127 to 127. So if you split that in half, half speed would be about 63. Okay, forward at uh, 63 half speed. All right, so we've accomplished turning on our motor at half speed. How long do we need to do it for? Five seconds. Well, that's a wait command. Okay, uh, so before it go, the program goes on to the next thing, we want to wait a bit. So we're going to open up the wait window, pull this one in. We're going to tell it, hey, hold up, just let that motor run for five seconds before you do the next thing. 